Okay, everybody, welcome back. Let's hit the Silk Road and visit far off mysterious Kashgar. The time has come, folks. I finally made it. It took me a while to get here, but I am going to spend six gold and one mule, and then I am going to trust the fates that when I draw the top three cards, I'm not going to be left high and dry. But, you know, I mean, it's a bit of a gamble, but really, you know, the only problem is if I draw large contracts because large contracts are not that common. I mean, you can see of all the cards we've drawn so far, I mean, it's been nothing but smalls and specials. I mean, there's one large. So I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. So here we go. Time to activate the farrier. And whoop, there goes all my cash and one mule. Okay. This goes in the back of the deck. And we're going to draw three cards, and I just I just don't want to see any large contracts. No large contracts, no whammies. Let's go. Special contract. Oh, wheat field. Okay, that's a victory point. It would have cost me three gold, so I'm already halfway towards having earned them, right? So, and let's see what else we draw. Number two. All right. <laughs> of course, of course. One of the, I don't even know. This, all right, well, okay, so it's gone. I missed it. Come on, do not show me another large contract, anything. As long as this is a small contract or a special, I'll be fine. Okay, I am happy with that. Two special, two wheat fields, in fact. Okay, so the farrier, he did a pretty good job. So these are only, it's only two points. Uh, but I did, I mean, it would have cost me six bucks to get these. Now as it happened, I had to spend six bucks and a mule to do it. But I also would have had to spend time. You know, I basically got the, I got two contracts completed for one action. Would have been great if I'd gotten three. But here's the other interesting thing. There, in addition to the one point, these, these wheat fields, they will give me bonus points for any farmers that I get. If I can get farmers into my caravans, I could start working on basically a set collection game of matching my farmers to my wheat field. So that's pretty cool. Could have been better. I would have liked a third contract, but I'm, y'all, I'm, I'm happy with two. And so that was it. Now let's continue. So here we are back over in Genville. And now, you know, so she's doing very well. She's got, she can do another contract right now, but her problem is she's out of mules. She could do, she doesn't need any mules to get this wheat field. And now this is interesting. Now that Jen is, can see I've gotten two wheat fields, she doesn't want me to keep, like monopolize wheat fields. So she wants to get this, but she needs three gold. She has one gold. She's, you know, and she doesn't have enough mules to do any of the other contracts. So because Jen has worked so hard on making this middle deck, her middle caravan, a really strong buying contract or buying deck, she hasn't really focused on ways to get resources like I have. I've got the, uh, you know, I've got the boatman who can give me resources. I've got the planter who can give me resources. Jen's got nothing. So I think, Although she's got this gypsy who, I mean, remember its special power was to, you know, thin out decks, but its other power is she could get seven of any resource she wants, right? Or any spice right now. But you know what? I think, I think actually she's going to use this patriarch and she's going to do it and exposing the gypsies that she can use later. But in the meantime, she'll draw two and keep one. Let's see what she gets. All right. Another spice merchant and a cooper. You know what? I forget the spice merchant. Because she's already got more than enough ways to do contracts. This Cooper set one of the following four to set one of the following to four and increase one by one. So she could increase her mules to four and increase her you know pepper or gold by one or you know any combination. That's pretty nice. That's pretty flexible. A Cooper is handy to have, but she's going to have to dig through this deck to get to him. This caravan. Okay, so. My turn again. All right. So, hey, my patron is up. She wants one gold so I can use her power, but I'm out of gold. Okay. Then I need to get to my planter who can spend some of my, I've got tons of pepper to give me a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to use this patriarch. And here's the thing. If I use this patriarch and put another card in this deck, it's just going to make it harder to get to the planter. And I want to be able to get to the planter quick and easy. So... I think I'll take the Patriarch. I, I, I don't necessarily, I already have a Matriarch queued up if I, if I want to do Matriarch stuff. I'm just going to put the Patriarch in the back and I'm just not going to use his power. So he's still available to me, but I'm just not, because really I want to get to the planter that much quicker. Okay, back to Jen. So she wants to get this Cooper to give her some gold so that she can get that wheat field before I do, but that means she's got to go through this stuff. So it's time to activate her Gypsy. Place one of your Patriarchs at the end of this caravan. Now, here's the problem. Originally, she was thinking, hey, you know what? This could be the deck where she just uses the Gypsy and moves all her Patriarchs over here so they're kind of out of the way and they don't really bother her so her other decks could go faster. But now she's got a good card in here that she doesn't want to slow down. She wants to be able to get to that Cooper that much quicker. 
So instead, she could use the gypsy to, as the one-time thing. You'll know, like completely fill up her pepper. She'll get a full seven. Uh, let's see. And that means she can get to her Cooper that much quicker. That was not her original plan, but I think she's going to do it. She's going to use the... Because she's got, she's got the courtesan who can weed her decks out instead. So she's going to use the special one-time farewell effect and can set any one of the spices to seven. Now, it makes the most sense to... To, to do her pepper because she has none. And so that'll be the biggest jump. But if she pays attention to what's available, like this large contract doesn't need pepper at all. This small contract only needs one pepper. And her Cooper can create pepper for her as well if she needs pepper. So she should probably do a different spice. Maybe the, the anise, because this large contract requires four, or the, um, I'm sorry, I don't know, it's uh, the cinnamon for four, or the anise for three. I think, I think she'll set her cinnamon, to, her, she'll, so the gypsy put her cinnamon up to seven. And so now she's hoping, because she's got everything else, she's got the uh, cloves, she's got the anise, she's got, yeah, she's got everything. She, and, and she even has one mule. But unfortunately, she needs four mules before she can even attempt this. So she's going to have to work on getting some mules. But she'll worry about that in a bit. So... In the meantime, though, she can get, because her, she can have her Cooper get her mules back up to four immediately. So she's got to get to her Cooper, but we'll get back to that in a second. Back to me. So I have got my planner exposed. I'm going to go ahead and activate her or my planter. She costs me one, but I got plenty of pepper. And she gives me one gold, two ginger, two cloves, ginger cloves, and two cinnamon. So that's pretty nice. I'm getting a lot of resources. I'll give me a lot of flexibility later. Now back over here to Jen. She wants to get to that Cooper ASAP. And so she'll go on ahead and use this Patriarch. Now does she want to use him to get another card? No, because she just wants to keep this as fast as possible. Heck, if anything, she might. You know, if she could get to this courtesan and use the courtesan to um, place a card, oh, wait, no, what was it the courtesan that letter? Place a card from any of your caravans at the end. So she could use the courtesan to pull this patriarch over here, and then turn after turn, she could just use the cooper instantly. That's really sexy. So she's just gonna use the patriarch. She's not gonna, she's just getting him out of the way so she can get to the cooper now, because she wants to get this large contract. She wants to be able to get that quickly. Oh, but she also wants to get the, I forgot, she wants to be able to get that, but she needs, mm, well, she'll worry about that in a second. So anyway, back to me, back to my turn, okay. So, now I've got the gold, I can activate my Patriot, you know, thanks to the planter, I got the gold, so I'll activate her. So you can start to see, you can build really cool, interesting combo chains if you're, if you're smart. So for each card, including this one, that's four cards, increase your, all right, oh, whoops, I misread this before. It's your mules or a spice, shoot. And I think last time I did both, didn't I? I think I did, I've totally forgotten, what did I do? Oh, that's right, yes, I increased so, if I had not increased my mules by four, it would have been down here, and it would have been down. So let's just say, I, I totally missed that. I did increase my mules before, so I, I spent one mule to activate my farrier, so that's why I'm down. I, I had done pepper before. So anyway, so I'm activating her again. I can pick any spice or a mule, my choice, any spice or a mule, and increase them by one, two, three, four. So maybe I do want to get my mules back up. Because I can see, I mean, I need a lot of mules for, there's these two contracts. So I will do that now. One, two, three, four. Because uh, my pepper is still plenty high from the last time I used the patroness. Okay, so that was cool. Or no, I guess I used my pepper. Oh, shoot. Sorry, folks. If I, I, now I'm, I'm starting to lose track of whether I used the pepper. Anyway, oh, one thing, though. Um, I did have to, when I used her, I had to spend that gold I just made to increase that. Anyway, Paul will add notes. Apologies. Hopefully, though, I straighten that out so this isn't totally broken. Anyway, back to me, back to my turn. Okay, or I'm sorry, back to Jen. So, she's going to use her Cooper. So, this lets her affect her pepper, her gold, and her mules. She can set one of them to four, and she can increase one of them by one. If she sets her mules to four, she's got everything she needs for this large contract for five points. If she sets her gold, she's got enough to do this wheat field, which will prevent me from getting the wheat field because she knows I'm starting to monopolize them. And she can look and see... Well, actually, no, she's not worried about that because she can see I have no gold. So she knows I can't get that wheat field anytime soon. So she's going to use the cinnamon prints to fulfill one contract, it's going to be this large contract. Couldn't do it. Oh, wait. 
Oh, hold on. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I jumped ahead. You're silly me. Got ahead of myself. So the Cooper set, uh, she's going to set the mules to four. She's going to increase either gold or pepper by one. Pepper is totally empty. Gold is low. Need pepper for this small contract over here. What the heck? Let's go on ahead and do the pepper. All right. So that was, thanks, Coop. All right, back to me. So I am now going to activate my boatman who is going to spend four of, and I've still got plain pepper, one, two, three, four, and now I can set anything, any of the other spices to nine. <sighs> Let's see here. Now, actually, do I need to do that right now? Should I be doing something else? I really, I'm, I'm, I'm doing great at getting resources, but I'm not doing very good at actually completing contracts. I need to start working on that. You know what? Hold on a second. Maybe I won't do the boatman right now. Maybe I'll wait till later to do that. So instead, if I did not spend, so one, two, three, four. And so instead, I think I'm just going to use this patriarch and I'm going to start trying to build a second deck over here. So let's draw two and see what we get because uh, this means I'm going to be able to do a contract because I got like all the resources in the world. So, and also, hopefully, I can find some farmers because I want farmers to go along with the wheat fields I've already got. Another spice merchant and the merchant's daughter. Now, for her, you can spend one cinnamon, and then for each of your patriarchs, if you still, there are some cards that let you remove patriarchs. There's even a card that lets you start a fourth caravan, so you have four patriarchs. But usually, you have three patriarchs. So, spend a cinnamon, and if you have three patriarchs, get, uh, you increase your gold by one and any other spice by one for having the merchant's daughter in your caravan. Now here's the thing, this woman in the woods that lets me do a contract, it's a one-time thing. After I use her, she's gone. So, I think I will. Even though he's a negative one, I'm going to go on ahead and take this Spice Merchant so that I can do contracts. And so this card gets, goes to the discard pile. Okay. And now, maybe I won't use, maybe I'll use the woman in the woods just to get a whole bunch more. I get one of everything, and then I get to this Spice Merchant and I can start completing contracts several in a row. So actually, that's pretty cool. But anyway, back to Jen. Now, she's done it all. She's got the Cinnamon Prince, which is just cool. All right, fulfill one contract. Jen's had their eyeball on this large contract. It, she needs four mules. She's got it. It's going to cost her one. One, two, three, four Cinnamon, one Anise, one Cloves, and one Ginger. And bang, that's a big deal. Jen is sitting at 10 points in contracts. And she revealed a new one, a small contract. Okay. And heck, she could do that one because she still has three mules. And she even has all the resources she needs. So that's pretty nice. So that was that. Now it's my turn again. Okay. And I'm kind of bummed because if I'd been one turn quicker, I would have been able to do this large contract and I would have scored it. But Jen beat me to it. I could have used the woman in the woods to get it. But now that it's gone, do I want to use her to do one of these? Now, this is an interesting one. This is a special contract. Uh, I need to have at least three mules, and I have to pay my three mules. That's expensive, but I've got a lot of mules, and I can always make more with the, with, the, with the patroness. But I will get six gold. And remember, my farrier wants a lot of gold, so I think this makes a lot of sense. And I, uh, I could wait till my spice merchant comes up, but she's available right now. I'm going to use her, and then she's gone. I'm going to fulfill one small or... Oh, she can't do special contracts. Shoot. All right, well, she can't do a special contract. Gosh darn it. All righty. Well, then, do I have her do a, let's see. Well, then there's these two. She can't do either of these, but she could fulfill those. And I can complete either of these contracts. And I really should, because I'm really falling behind Jen. So she, I'm going to have her, and she's going to be gone. She's going to do one of these small contracts for me. This one's worth three points. What the heck? Let's just take the better one. All right. I needed four mules, but heck, I've got six. I am the mule king. And so that costs me one clove, one pepper, and three. One, two, three of the anise. And so I've got five in contracts to Jen's ten. Okay. And I have just... I mean, and so this is my buying one, because I can get to that spice merchant now fairly quickly with a one turn or with you know one turn turnaround. Okay, so that was it. Back over to Jen. Okay. All right, so Jen's gonna have to use a patriarch. Now she'd like to get this patriarch done so she can get the course and so she can get the Cooper all by himself. So let's go on ahead and use this patriarch. Does she wanna draw two cards and put even more cards into this deck? She doesn't necessarily want to because that's just gonna slow down her ability to get to the Cinnamon Prince. So I think she'll just go on ahead, what the heck, she'll flip this so she'll have a matriarch coming just in case she wants one and that was her whole turn. And now she'll be able to use the cards in the next turn. Okay, back to me. So, um, now I've still got all the, no, oh, that's right. 
I want to complete this special contract because it's worth three points. I have to give up three mules, which is a big deal. But I get six bucks. And I want to have those six bucks so I can reactivate my farrier again. And go for the, uh, once again, a crazy just drawing cards. So that's my long-term goal. So I need... I, I, and I, 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 so I just need this Patriarch out of the way so I can activate my Spice Merchant who is, you know, stinking up the place with his negative one. So let's just go on ahead and activate this Patriarch. Now do I, and you know what, I'm, I'm still looking for farmers. I haven't gotten my farmers yet to take advantage of my, so let's go on ahead and draw two and hopefully I'll find a farmer. There's a bunch of farmers in here. But you wouldn't know it from the way I'm drawing. A Margaret Woman and a Patroness. One of these is going to go in the discard, one's going to go into this caravan. Now, every time she comes up, one of every spice by one. That's incredible. And she sticks around forever. As opposed to the patroness for this card, I already have one patroness over here. Pay a gold for each card, increase your mules or your... Right. Now, she's, the be she's good in a very big caravan. I don't want this to become a big caravan, so I don't think I'm going to take a second one. I'm just going to take this market one. Which is kind of nice. You know, after I use the spice merchant, you know, to to buy some stuff, then the market woman comes along. She gives me some more spices so that I can, you know, and so these two can kind of, you know, reciprocate against each other with just this patriarch in the way, kind of slowing things down. So anyway, so that was that. I was, but I still want those farmers so I can get the bonus points off my wheat fields. Oh, and I forgot, a new contract came out, a small contract. Okay, Jen's turn, and she is finally going to get to activate her courtesan, which remember was one of her special cards. Uh, see, now, she could make me flip all my patriarchs to matriarchs. Not interested in that, instead, or, or vice versa. She, instead, is going to place a card from any of her caravans at the end of this caravan. So, this goes, and now she activates that. She is going to take this patriarch, and now there's two patriarchs in this very big, slow caravan. Which is kind of a bummer, because that slows down her buying ability, but her cooper is now super fast. She can just activate this over and over and over again every turn. So, that's kind of nice provided that contracts come out that really focus on mules, gold, and pepper. So, she, you know, she's still a little short in other ways, but you know, she'll worry about that later. Right. In fact, does she have a matriarch coming? She does have a matriarch coming. This patroness would be a great addition to this really big, crazy caravan, because it would pay out really, really big. But, what was that other one? Um, you know, the merchant's daughter. Well, anyway, so worry about that later. So, back to me. Back to my turn. And, so... Right, and I totally forgot what it was I was doing. Uh, right, oh, I need, yes, that's what it is. I need to fulfill this special contract. Right, so that's what I'm gonna do. My spice merchant is up. He is gonna fulfill a contract, goes to the back of the pack. I'm gonna do this small, this special contract, because a spice merchant can do anything. And I have to spend three mules, one, two, three, but I gain six bucks and three points, which means my farrier is ready to go again. So, you know, generally, oh, hey, here's two wheat fields. If I could just find one farmer. Okay. So that was that. That was pretty nice. So I'm sitting at six, seven, eight to Jen's 10. But Jen's also got three, and I've only got one, and I'm at negative one. So Jen's still ahead in points. But I've built, I think, a fairly nice combo. I've, I've got several options. It's all about this farrier. I forget, was he my special? No, he was just a regular. But you know, I've definitely set myself up so that I can use him fairly efficiently because I just got six more bucks thanks to that special contract. So that's nice. Okay, Jen's turn. Let's see here. So the peddler's up. So, um, and he can do smaller special contracts and he can trade, you know, if he's missing spices, he can use gold and she does have some gold and she's got three mules. Is there any contracts she'd like to do with her peddler? <laughs> Let's see, well, this small con these are both worth two points. They both require three mules so she can do either of them. And, you know, feels like she should take advantage of it while she can. So what the heck, she is going to activate her peddler. And so just like that, the Cinnamon Prince is back and ready for action. Okay, and let's see, which one is she going to do? Hmm, ba -ba -ba -ba. all right, so it's going to be these four and leave Cinnamon or this. I think she'll do this one. No, she'll do this one. I think that, yeah, because she's got a lot of Cinnamon and this one requires, yeah, so she'll do this one. All right, so uh, she has her three mules, that's fine. And she has to pay one ginger, one pepper, one anise, and one cinnamon. All right, so there we go, easy peasy. Another contract comes out, small contract, okay. Oh wow, and Jen could do that, all right, okay. Oh, but she's out of pepper now, she needs two pepper for that. Okay, back to me, back to my turn. Let's see, I haven't used my boatman for a while, but I don't wanna use my boatman 
until, I mean, I'm, basically I'm, I'm waiting on this guy until I've spent a lot of my resources because he's my way to get a lot of resources. So what am I going to do instead? Uh, let's see, I've only got one way now to fulfill, so I need to get my spice merchant back up. You know what? I'm going to take this guy, oh, but I want to get another farmer. But you know what? I don't want to, if I'm going to get a farmer, oh, no, no. If I'm going to get a farmer, I don't want to put him in this deck because I don't want to slow this deck down. I am going to take a matriarch so that in the future I could get another buyer into this deck and this could be my buying deck or my buying caravan. And so now I've got to get through this. Yeah. But I've got all the ways in the world to get resources and no ways to buy and Jen is the exact opposite. Okay. So anyway, back to Jen. Back to her turn. So she's got the cinnamon prince. She would like to fulfill a contract. She can't do that. She can't do that. She can't do any of them. She doesn't have enough gold. She needs either gold or pepper. That is what's holding her back from completing any of these contracts. But you, hey, you know what? J Jens Cooper is always just sitting here all by himself in a, in a caravan of one, ready to work. So he's going to work. He's going to go to the back. So that means Jen will set her gold to four. And she can increase either her pepper or her mules by one. I think she'll increase her pepper by one. Wow. That's okay. That is scary. I am afraid for, of Jen now. All right. And in the meantime, what am I going to do? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this market woman, and that will give me one of every spice. That's nice. Beep, 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 beep. All right. And by the way, excess spices at the end of the game aren't worth diddly. So it's great to have them all, but if you don't find a way to spend them, and so, yeah, I really need to get... Uh, you know, and so th that's why I did this matriarch, because if nothing else, this matriarch, I know I can come through here and I could grab another spice merchies, another negative one, but then I got two buyers in here, so I could start buying like crazy and catch up with Jen's unstoppable Cooper engine. So anyway, so I did that, and I got a bunch of stuff, now it's Jen's turn again, and so she will use the cinnamon prince now, I believe, because she has, oops, sorry, the mule should have been up to four, not to three. So the mule went up to four, she increased her pepper by one, and so that means... With four mules, she can't do this one because she has no anise. She can't do this one, but she can do either the wheat. She can get either of those wheat fields, uh, and I think it's worth it to her because they're worth a point. But more importantly, she's worried about me monopolizing them. So Jen is going to use her cinnamon prince. Goes to the back of the pack, and she will fulfill this special contract. And now Jen would like to get some farmers as well. So this cost her three gold. One, two, three, and that was it. All right. So she could use uh, uh, this Cooper, get her gold back, and get the other one. Easy peasy. In the meantime, a small contract, which Jen cannot do because she's out of Annis. All right. All right. Back to me. Back to my turn. All righty. So I'm going to use my Spice Merchant because I am very good at I've got all the resources in the world. And what am I going to do? I'm going to complete a contract. Thanks. Let's see here. Although I am very low on Annis. So, and unfortunately, there's no big contracts out. Where are all the big contracts? Where's the big boys? Well, let's see. This one's going to make me lose a mule. I'd rather not lose a mule. But I, I, you know, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to my third wheat field, which is going to cost. Although if I do that, it's going to cost me three gold for when my farrier comes out, and I don't have a cooper like Jen to get gold back really easy. And I've yet to find a farmer. Who knows if I'll ever actually get one? I'll instead just go for the quickie contract. See, both of these require Annis, which is going to empty me out of Annis. But once I've emptied out of Annis, that's when the boatman comes in and I spend some spice to completely refill it. So that's perfect. Let's go on ahead and do this one that doesn't use up any mules. Yeah, okay, boom. That's two points. And so I lose one clove, one spice, one Annis, and one cinnamon, and I just score two more points. And my matriarch is up so I can get another spice merchant and start speeding myself up. Back to Jen, back to her turn. Right, so, oh, and of course, a new contract came out. Special contract, ooh. Now, Jen knows how much I want these because I can turn that, that big boost of gold into the farrier. She can do it too. I mean, she would love to have a whole bunch of gold. Gold! All right. But she can get gold pretty quickly and easily with the Cooper. What is she going to do in the meantime? So she's got her matriarch up. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, she hasn't used her village beauty yet. This is a one-time thing. Use it, and all the other must move their patriarchs to the front of the caravan. Interestingly, I've got matriarchs right now and a patriarch, so this is not a good time to use the village beauty. But 
She could use the Village Beauty and not use its power, or leave it, because the Village Beauty is worth a point. Just get it out of the way so she can get to this Patriarch a little bit quicker, so she can get to that Noble a little bit quicker, get another special card, and start you know getting some more special power. So that's pretty cool. She's happy with that. Back to me. I'm going to use my Matriarch, put her in the back of the pack, specifically to go digging through the discard pile, and I want to get somebody else who can do contracts, and I think that's going to mean another Spice Merchant. Now, I can take a Peddler who won't lose me points, but he can only do small and specials. But you know what? I'm not seeing any larges anyway, so let's go on ahead and take him instead of a Spice Merchant because then he will not lose me points. Oh, and by the way, the Matriarch, once activated, turns back into a Patriarch. Okay. And so that was that. And back to Jen. All right, and she's trying to get to her Noble. All right, so she'll use her Patriarch. And, uh... Hmm... She wants that patron. She should really put it in this, so it'll be much more powerful. What else is in here? Merchant's daughter. For each of your patriarchs, she has three patriarchs. But you know, at any given time, they might be matriarchs if you flip the card. Another spice merchant. Yeah, I don't think she's really that interested. She can't pull this one out because it has a farewell effect. Yeah, she's not that interested. So she'll just use the patriarch. She's going to draw two, and let's see what she gets. A baker and a fairy. Ooh, she's got that farrier. But I don't think she wants to take chances with that. Plus, she doesn't have a... Well, no, she well she can get up to four gold really easily, but then it takes her a while to get the rest of the way. So I don't think she cares about that. But she'll go on ahead and take a baker, who is worth two points, and for one spice can set any one spice to the same value as the spice of another player. That's very nice, because I've got high value of, of various and spices. So by just spending one pepper, she could increase one of her other ones. So that's really cool. So that's pretty cool. All right, and she's revealed her noble, so she'll get to draw two special cards, get one, or remove a patriarch, you know, uh, to slow to speed up a deck, so she can do some more deck thinning. Back to me. All right, and now that this is empty, it's time to use my boatman. I will spend four spot, uh, four pepper, one, two, three, four, so that I can increase either, uh, so, I, so I can increase something else to nine. This is empty. Boom, it's back up to nine, and once again, I have set myself up so that any contracts that come along, I can fulfill. And I'm getting better and better at having a good contract fulfilling caravan over there. So this is the one that makes me this stuff, this is the one that fills, and this one, I'm kind of ignoring, even though that's a good one too. Okay, back to Jen, she's going to use her Noble, and does she want to just get rid of a Patriarch altogether? That's really interesting. This Patriarch, she could, she could use this, that would get rid of the Noble, it could get rid of this Patriarch, she could use the Village Beauty, it would go away, and then Jen would have one Caravan that's nothing but a Cooper she could use over and over again, and one that's nothing but a Baker that she could use over and over again, and spend uh, Pepper, which she can get from the Cooper, to get anything to the level I've got. So, wow. That's very cool. Jen's going to do that. She's going to use the Parting, say goodbye to the Noble, she's going to say goodbye to this Patriarch, and... Now, once she gets rid of this Village Beauty, which, um, and what the heck, she can do it. I mean, it's not a bad time to do it when this Patriarch, so she'll kind of, you know, prevent me from getting to my Spice Merchant that much faster. So that's pretty cool. And then back to me. Oh, goodness gracious. So, what was I doing? <laughs> All right. I, I, want to, I want to do more contracts, so I need to get this market one out of the way. So let's just go on ahead and do it. Although I want to get to my Farrier again, so I can do that big superpower. Wow. There's a fairy over here. What the heck? Let's do it. So I'm going to use a matriarch, which means it turns back to a patriarch. And I'm going to pull something out. I'm going to pull another farrier. So I, this is insane. I've got two farriers in this caravan. Um, now, is that really the reasonable thing to do? Really? Oh, and by the way, he should go to the back of the deck, not the front of the deck. Because I'm going to be able to get a, a surge of six gold. But I don't really have any other ways to get surge of six gold. So I really shouldn't take him. I should take something else. What else would I like to take? Another spice merchant, a merchant's daughter. Or the Patroness. I'll put the Patroness because the Patroness is really good in a caravan that has a lot of cards, like this one. So that's pretty good. And now my Farrier's up, which is going to let me draw three and go crazy. Okay, back to Jen. Jen is going to use her Village Beauty, finally. She's throwing a point away. All her players must put their Patriarchs in the front of their caravans. And then Jen will get to take another turn immediately. And so, this Patriarch's in front. This Patriarch says, boom, no Market Woman for you. So that has just slowed me down on two of my decks. So that was actually very well timed. So now I was going to use Farrier, but it's going to take me a while. And now Jen gets to take another action, and she could spend one spice to get, you know, to get, you know. So th between these two guys, she's going to be able to get stuff as fast as possible. And then she's got two buyers over here. She just needs to get rid of these other cards, to get out of the way, so she can just have this super fast, efficient engine and scream to the end. Right. 
So she gets one more turn now because that's what the Village Beauty did, said. Does she want to use a Cooper? or she, well, like She's going to use her Baker. Let's use it. And it goes to the back, which means it's right here. She spends one pepper, and now she can set any spice to the same value as the spice of another player. So she could, you know, any she could put her pepper right back up so she can keep doing it. Let's see, what does she want to do considering? Now she doesn't, she shouldn't be messing with, because she can increase her spice, her, I'm sorry, her pepper. So it shouldn't be pepper. What does she do instead? So she'll go ahead and do the, her anise because it's empty. There we go. Boom. And mine is full, so now Jen's full too. Nice. And then her Cooper will be able to fill her pepper back up. And the Cooper powers the baker. Oh, wow, that is a beautiful little engine there. Jen's just got, you know, she's set. She's going to ride that to the end of the game now. And now it's my turn. And I just got my whole works gummed up by a village beauty who tempted all the patriarchs to the front of the line. And that just messed me up. Gosh darn it. I still want to do my farrier. But you know what? I'm also, I am still looking for a farmer to score. So I'll have this patriarch go to the back. And once again, I will draw two, and this time I will find a farmer. Yes, I will. Hey, it's a farmer. Out of the way, charlatan. This farmer goes here, and so now farmers are worth victory points equal to the number of wheat field contracts. So this guy is basically worth two points. If I get another wheat field, he's worth three points. So he basically doubles the value of wheat fields. So the more farmers you have and the more wheat fields you have, that can be a really big but I've got this big, super cumbersome deck. But that's great because the patronist wants to be, and I've got two patrons in here, so that means they really pay out big when I get to them. Okay, and my farrier's back up. And now it's Jen's turn again. And so she can use her Cooper to increase her pepper to four and, can, and bump up her mules. She'll bump her, her uh, gold back up to three or up to two which means she's close to getting that wheat field, and that was her turn, and now it's my turn again. And let's go crazy. Let's just go nuts. Let's do it again, the farrier. All right, go to the back, buddy. I'm gonna spend six gold, broke again, one mule, draw three contracts. And what I, I do not wanna see any large contracts, although I'm worried because we've been drawing for a while now and not seeing any large contracts. No larges, small, okay. No larges, Ugh, all right, so that's out. Come on, show me a special. Because remember, the farrier only lets me take one small. So if I, if this other thing I don't draw, if, if I don't draw a special, I toss it. Ugh. All right, so I only get one of these. Which one do I want? Well, I could take the one for three points or the one for two points. I guess I'll take the one for three. That was a bit of bad luck. All right, well, the farrier's a bit of a gamble. All right, but anyway, so still, I'm not complaining too much. I've got what, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so I'm at 16 points right now. And Jen, meanwhile, she is at 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Jen is only a couple points ahead of me. Um, and this is getting kind of scary. Wheat fields are worth double to me, so I want to grab wheat fields. And they're, you know, although I've just spent all my gold and I didn't get hardly anything for it, that could have killed me. If that farrier could have been good to me, that might have turned it around, but that was a bit of bad luck. Although, there's another special contract waiting right here to give me the gold I need to, to power him again. But he's also deep at the end of my biggest, most bloated deck. And Jen, meanwhile, she is a lean, mean caravanning machine. And you know what? I think I'm gonna stop right there because hopefully you guys have a pretty good idea of how the flow of Kashgar works. I just got a little carried away. I meant to do this in multiple stages. I'll have to split this video up into an intro and an outro, but that's okay because um, my throat's sore and hopefully you guys could see just how cool this game is. It is amazing. And if you'd like to hear why, you can hit the little eye up in the top right corner of the screen to go to Final Thoughts in five, four, three, two, one.